Are you freaking kidding? Everyone, it's James Chamberlain and today I've got a really really unique and special video for you guys today We're not only just doing a golf cart off-roading video and we're not just doing an equine related video where I take the mules out today We're gonna be doing both. That's right guys. We're gonna be tackling both subjects in one video today I've planned a major trip out to an undisclosed riverbed location It's gonna be around an eight eight and a half mile round trip. This trip is going to be no joke We're gonna be going over all sorts of rough terrain through washes riverbeds all sorts of really steep hills and lots of really exciting technical stuff I love taking any one of my golf carts out and getting to feel the nice breeze and see the scenery out here and just be out on these dirt roads. But I also really, really love to take my mule out. Now you guys might be wondering, what mules are we bringing and what carts am I taking? To start off with, no, as much as I would love to take Easy Go Crazy, my custom modded beast of a golf cart with 23 inch ATV tires that I fully restored, as much as that sounds like the perfect machine for this trip, I'm not going to be taking that as I prefer something just a little bit more reliable and tried and true here. For that reason, I'm just going to be taking my regular old club car, which is sure to be a fun and amazing trip as it's definitely going to be a little bit of a challenge for this cart going over this terrain, but I know for a fact it can handle it and it's got a brand new bank of batteries that will have absolutely no problem getting us out there and back. As for the equines, we're going to be taking my mule, Mule Lissa. I absolutely love her and she is just amazing out there on the trail. We're also going to be bringing Striper, of course, really adorable hinny slash mule and great animal to go on the trails as well. Alrighty guys, so we've just headed out to this area that we're going to be using as a trailhead today. This is a great spot to begin our journey and we're going to be heading basically out there, way out there. We're going to be heading down that hill into the valley down there. We're going to have a great time getting out to the river. It's going to be a great trip today. Here the club car is looking quite fine and we are all rigged up and ready to go. We've got our camera gear right here. We got multiple points for the action camera so that I can get you guys some great footage. Got our power packs. We've got some spare electricity for tire inflator, whatever we need there and everything we will need today to go on our trip. There are the mules. There's Mulissa up front and then Striper in the rear. Here we go, we are pulling out onto the main road. I see a truck head, but I think we can beat him. Alrighty guys, here we are. We're now turning off onto the road we're gonna be taking that will bring us all the way down to the first wash that we have to enter to get down into the lower valley area. I like to call this road the roller coaster road as there are a ton of bumps and really cool like little airtime hills. And as long as you're driving it safely, this road can be quite fun. We're not gonna be going too insane today since we do have the mules with us, but we'll go ahead and see what's going on and we're gonna get some great clips of this one.
All right, here we go. We're just gonna take a little bit of a shortcut here because I don't feel like driving onto that road, so I'm just gonna go right over here, no big deal. Might as well just run some brush right over and enter in this way. Here we've got our first real little bit of off-roading here. So this is the wash. It just heads straight down and goes like this for about say, probably mile and a half, two miles. Alrighty guys, it's time to really pay attention now. We are heading over to the street. We're gonna have to go ahead and cross the highway right here to get where we wanna go. So we need to be very careful, especially with the mules back there. I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down and just film this off of the action camera for safety reasons here. Now here we are and this is where the trip becomes interesting because to get down to the actual riverbed there are a couple things you've got to do here. There is no true straight shot to get through. There are some interesting areas we've got to cross and we kind of have to go through a little bit of a maze in order to get down there. I'm just trying to familiarize myself with what we do. Here on this road we've always done it by making a right. That's always been the way I've done it. So we're going to head right down here and then right here at this closed road is where we head through. Now this is how we get through here. It's lots of barbed wire, fences, everything out here is falling apart. Got some semi-abandoned roads. And here we are entering what is pretty much the wash at this point. We got some really, really, really deep sand out here. And this is getting to look like the riverbed. All right guys, so here we are. I'm gonna head on into the riverbed on Ulyssa and I'm gonna do a little bit of a ride out there in the sand with her and we're gonna get some amazing shots. I've always wanted to ride my mule out here. I've wanted to have the golf cart out here too, but it's also been a goal to take mule list out here. So I'm so hyped that today is finally that day we get to do this. They went down a trail a little bit further away from the wash, but I don't know where they went. They've got to be out there somewhere. Maybe they started heading back, but it doesn't look like because I don't think they would have gone that far back. There they are. Finally, we found them. That wasn't so bad. I was a little bit concerned there. I didn't realize they were just going to head straight back. I did not get that. Have we here? Looks like a 
we've got a bit of spinning going on. Let's back her up and approach this differently. Wow, she is not wanting to go up. Boy, oh boy, are you guys kidding me? We're just digging, we're not getting anywhere. There you go, let's bring her back a bit. Well, would you look at that, once again, regretting the fact that I kept the stock tires on this side of my club car for so dang long. I really do prefer those turf tires like I've got on the other side, and I really want to get this upgraded to a turf tire as soon as possible, and this is just a prime example as to why. Put things into perspective, we are in some really deep stuff here, as you guys can see. Yeah, I'm in the wash. I did not realize, I have gone through this wash so many times, we do car trips out here all the time. I can't believe today is the day that we actually are having a little bit of a traction issue getting up. Never had that happen before. There we go. Are you freaking kidding? Never, out of all the many times have I been out here on car trips, has there been an issue like this? At least I found a little golf ball here. That I guess just makes about, I guess that just about makes up for the fact that we are kind of stuck out here at the moment. Right here, the positive traction system on this cart should be able to do its job and get us enough leverage to get up. But that You know guys, you really do win some and you lose some. Um, I would say that th this definitely is not a good situation here because I have things to do, I need to get back and I don't really have time to mess around with this because I've got stuff to do still today. It's a really hot day and we just need to get out of here. I'm thinking what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get up onto that bank right there and then just kind of parallel it over here on the hard ground till we're up past this one little area here and we should be good from there. Let's head on up on some solid ground. All right, guys, here we are getting back into the legit stuff again. Here we go. Alrighty guys, let's take this roller coaster for a spin. Here we go. 